For our next section, we're going to want to introduce a concept of the mole. Now, the mole is nothing more than a collection term uh, useful for chemistry. Now, you're aware of collection terms in uh, everyday life. If I said I have one dozen donuts, we know that that means we have 12 individual donuts. Okay? A, a dozen is a collection term. You can say you have a dozen eggs, a dozen donuts, um, a dozen anything, that all that means is you have 12 individual units of what you're talking about. You can say that you have one gross of pens. Okay? And that's just, a gross is another collection term. That means you have a dozen, 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 dozen or 144 pens. If I said I had one ream of paper, that means we have 500 sheets. So collection terms are um, useful for making, uh, joining or adding individual units to convenient groups. A dozen for donuts, a gross for pens, or a ream for uh, sheets of paper. It wouldn't be uh, very useful to sell uh, sheets of paper by the dozen. Okay, A collection term for chemistry would be the mole, and as we will see, that is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So we could say atoms. Turns out we can say just like dozen, we can use any unit, molecules, compounds, atoms, electrons for moles, but they are always equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Now that is an enormously large number because that will also indicate the number of atoms in uh, the, the atomic masses numerical value in grams, as we'll see. Okay? Um, it originally wasn't set to equal to the number of atoms in a mole. It was actually uh, describing the amount of mass equal to the atomic mass uh, value for the elements. Uh, and it's based off the carbon-12 isotope. So carbon-12 isotope weighs exactly 12 AMUs. And we can convert that to a collection term to imply that one mole of carbon-12 weighs exactly 12 grams. And of course, grams are a lot more useful in a chemistry laboratory. Uh, so when you look at the periodic table, you can view the atomic mass in two units. You can either use that value as AMUs, atomic mass units, and that is, would be the mass of one atom of an individual isotope, or you can, or if you're looking at the periodic table, the average masses of all isotopes, or so um, average mass of one isotope, or if you use grams, uh, you're talking about one mole, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay? That value is known as Avogadro's number, because Amadeo Avogadro's uh, experiments uh, led to its um, determination. Here's the value a little bit more um, to a little bit more accuracy, 6.022.1421 times 10 to the 23rd. Um, we will primarily just keep it to four sig figs that will um, generally uh, keep us, uh, not limit the number of significant figures from calculations for this value. Okay, And so the one mole of atoms, uh, carbon atoms, have an average mass of around 12.01 grams. So the average mass, uh, so that n the number of carbon atoms in that one mole or in 12.01 grams is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And again, numerically equal to that mass in atomic mass units. Okay, so this relationship is known as the molar mass. Um, again, uh, since it's numerically equal to the atomic mass units, um, we can set up the, the general um, relationship that the lighter the atom, the lighter a collection 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms away. So the lighter the atom, the lighter the the mole weighs, the less the mole weighs, and the, light, and the heavier the atom, the heavier the, the um, mole weighs. Um, you can also say that if you have a same mass, the more, the lighter the atom is, the more atoms you have in that same equivalent mass. Okay, we can look at that uh, relationship a little bit better by looking at the equivalencies for uh, atomic mass units, excuse me, uh, molar mass units, 
and uh, masses. Okay, so we know that one mole of any substance is going to be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd uh, units. Okay, um, one mole of atom, mole, mole of aluminum has a mass of 26.98 grams, but because it's one mole, it's still 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd aluminum atoms. Just like carbon, one mole of carbon has that same number of atoms, same number of helium atoms in one mole, but because a helium atom weighs less than a carbon atom, its molar mass is less. And of course, um, the mole or the mass of one mole, therefore, is less uh, because carbon is uh, a smaller, lighter atom than aluminum. Of course, the uh, mole, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms, is less massive than 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd aluminum atoms. Okay, so you can see that we have uh, several equivalencies here, grams to moles, moles to atoms. So of course, if we have an equivalency, we can um, draw several conversion factors from that. So if you want to convert grams to moles, say for helium, you can always draw two uh, conversion factors. There are 4.033003 grams of helium per one mole of helium. Or, you can say that there are, in one mole of helium, there are 4.003 grams of helium. Okay, I should say a note that uh, for a slight abbreviation, instead of mole, M-O-L-E, you can abbreviate it M-O-L. Okay, so that's the two conversion factors for grams to moles, or mole to grams. If you want to convert moles to atoms, or vice versa, you can of course draw two conversion factors for that. You know that there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole, so that is the same for carbon. There are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms in one mole. Or, you can say that there are, in one mole, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms.